This trig substitution integral is a pretty close match for the formula 1 plus tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta. So it's a constant plus a variable thing squared. I also need to worry about like how do I get rid of this 9. So I'm going to try to get rid of the 9 in my substitution. So I'm going to let x equal 1 third tangent of theta, which means x squared is going to be 1 ninth tangent squared theta. And when I substitute that up here, it's going to kill the 9 and clean up that problem with the constants. I also need to transform dx. So that's 1 third secant squared theta d theta. And I'm ready to transform my whole integral. So I end up with a 1 third secant squared theta d theta over the square root of 1 plus 9 times x squared, which is 1 ninth tangent squared theta. I'm going to pull the 1 third out in front. And I get a secant squared theta d theta in the numerator. And I get the square root of 1 plus tangent squared, but that's just secant squared. All right, when I square root that, I just get a secant, and I'm going to cancel one of the secants in the numerator. And it leaves me with 1 third integral secant theta d theta, which is just natural log absolute value secant theta plus tangent theta plus c. Now there's a bit that we still have to do. I have to get this back in terms of x. So if I go back to where I defined x, I could say 3x is tangent theta, which means theta is the angle whose tangent is 3x. So in my final answer, I need the secant of the angle whose tangent is 3x, and I need the tangent of the angle whose tangent is 3x. In other words, just 3x. So I'm going to need a reference triangle for that first one. I'm going to get a picture of theta. That's the angle whose tangent is 3x. The easiest way to do that is to make that opposite side 3x and the adjacent side 1. And then if I apply the Pythagorean theorem, I can get the hypotenuse. So 1 squared plus 3x quantity squared is equal to this hypotenuse squared. So this must be 1 plus 3x quantity squared. So then I can write my final answer. The secant, let me put in this extra step just to make things more clear. The secant of the angle whose tangent is 3x. In other words, the angle in the picture plus the tangent of the angle whose tangent is 3x plus c. All right, so I need the secant of this angle theta. And secant is 1 over cosine. So instead of being adjacent over hypotenuse, it's going to be hypotenuse over adjacent. So I end up with hypotenuse over the adjacent side, which was just 1, so I'm not going to write it. And then the tangent of the angle whose tangent is 3x. That's just 3x. And I have a plus c at the end. 